I'm Frank Wilson. I am uh, spent my, most of my career at UNB, but I first met uh, Lord Beaverbrook when I was an undergraduate in fourth year engineering one Friday afternoon in the fall when uh, he came into the old library and I was sitting in the reading room and uh, by chance I was the only student there and he came in with Dr. Gertrude Gunn. And as soon as I see him, saw him come through the door, I realized who he was, so I stood up. He came directly over and said, young man, your time could be better spent sitting down, working on those books, than standing up for an old man like me. Now, if I hadn't stood up, I'd have got a different lecture, I'm sure. But that was my first association or introduction to Lord Beaverbrook. He was impressive. Uh... And my next uh, contact with him was when I uh, applied, was awarded a Beaverbrook Overseas uh, Scholar in 1963 for a three-year period. I was there doing my doctorate in England. And I took the opportunity when we were boarding the Empress of uh, Britain in Montreal to sail over, I wrote him a letter, told him where I was, and I was sailing the next day, and I thanked him for the opportunity that he had afforded me to go and study. Well, when I got to Birmingham, there was a letter waiting for me. And, of course, it had Beaverbrook Stationery. It uh, said, Dear Frank. He always started them out with Dear Frank and signed his letters as Beaver. He said, Well, Dear Frank, this is the first time I've received a letter before the fact. I've received many of them after the fact. And this is why I thought I would answer right away. He said, uh, you've seen and will see many uh, good things in Canada. You're going to see a lot of new things, good and bad, in Britain. And my advice to you is take the good from Canada and the good from Britain and put them together and they'll serve you well in life. Signed, Beaver. So that's my first letter. I also had with me that year, uh, in addition to my wife, of course, uh, Rod Nolan and his late wife, Dorina. Rod was a Beaverbrook overseas that year, as was Dow Dorcas, an engineer who is uh, now a medical doctor, and a young uh, chemist from Mount A by the name of Bob Young. That was the four of us. And we sailed on the Empress of Britain, and in the main dining room, we had our own Beaverbrook Scholars Table. And we had a, a lord who was down on his luck who was working as a maitre d' on the Empress of Britain. Remember him well, Lord Vivian. And he was always trying to get us to order wine because it was all paid for, you see. And uh, we might have a beer, but we never ordered any wine or anything. Rod and I often say, if we could only take that trip now, <laughs> we would make a dent in the wine list. But in those days, we were young and didn't appreciate wine, and all we cost Beaver was a few beer. Well, when I got there, uh, Beaverbrook had a, a very gracious program at Christmas. He gave us a special stipend, and it was designed to tour England, Brit Britain. He wanted us to go at Christmas and see something about Britain. And it was quite a generous uh, bequest. He gave my wife a stipend as well. And uh, Anyway, we had a, my wife had a cousin in uh, Edinburgh, so we went to Edinburgh for Christmas and, uh, and New Year's. I saw Hogmany there. And when I came back, I wrote Beaverbrook and thanked him for the stipend to go and told him exactly what I had done. Well, Rod Nolan and Dow Dorcas and Darina, they went skiing in Switzerland. They didn't go to Britain. And uh, I got a letter. Dear Frank, thank you for the letter. I'm very pleased you spent the stipend the way I intended it, seeing something in the United Kingdom. Some of your friends, I understand, went to Europe skiing. Your stipend will be doubled next year, signed Beaver. Now, to this day, Rod Nolan thinks I sold him down the drain. 
<laughs> what happened? There was an old banker at Coots and Company who looked after Beaver Brooks' accounts, and he traced every check, and he traced the boys were cashing them in Switzerland, and he relayed that on to Beaver. So I got the, the letter with the double one. And uh, my last letter, or some in between there, was not long before he died, actually. And I had taken a job at the University of Maine to come back to teach there. So I wrote and told Beaver. I got a very brief letter back. Dear Frank, I did not to send you to England to get an education to go to the United States. I trust you will soon return to Canada, signed Beaver. And that was my last communication with him. He died while we were there. and uh, and uh, But it was a great experience to... Uh, have those contacts with them. I owe a terrific amount to them, you know. It changed my life totally. Brought me to UNB, and because you know you about have to have a doctorate to survive the the system here then, and uh, so my life changed greatly, and I'm greatly indebted to old Lord Beaver.